this 2002 Lexus LS430 is absolutely gorgeous. It's done 129,000 kilometres since new and it comes in this beautiful dark navy with cream leather interior. It's got a very good service history to it. It's done just 129,000 kilometres. I believe it's called Nordic Blue. Um, I did have a 98 model myself in the same colour combination and uh, I sold that car a few years ago actually and it had 430,000 kilometres so this has got a very long life ahead of it it's in amazing condition it's very low kilometres for an LS series because if you go online I'm sure you'll find 430s, 400s and even 460s with two, three, four hundred thousand kilometres got the cool box in the back, heated rear seats, it's got radio controls in the back which first came available in the Series 4 LS400 in 1995. Sorry, I'll just check, I believe it's got soft closed doors. Yep, it's also got keyless entry so you've got the keys on your person, it's got two keys by the way, you simply put your hand behind there to unlock it, to lock it you press that button, now it's locked, which is great. If you want to start the car, as long as you've got the key on you, you pretty much you just touch this, and it starts up. You can put the key in as well if you wish. Saying the average fuel consumption is 13.6 litres per 100 kilometres, that'll be around town. Amazingly, in my LS400, I was able to achieve less than seven, I think it was about 6.5 or 6.7 litres per 100 k's, which is very impressive. That's almost like having a diesel. And around town, it got up to 13 or 14 litres per 100 k's. But it's a beautiful colour. It's got all the tools as well in the boot, full size spare. Open the boot. There we go. It doesn't have an electric boot. So there's your full size spare, it's got the valet pack and the med kit. You've even got your toolbox over here. Great, everything's there, torch. Normally there's always something missing out of these tool kits. Close it up. What I like about these LS 430s is that they really come with everything. They're quiet, surprisingly economical, absolutely reliable. It's even got double glazed windows. So you don't hear the other traffic on the road, which is great. There we go. So you've got your double glazed windows, timber everywhere, you can't have enough timber. It's just absolutely beautiful, it just came into us, we're just giving it a quick wash. But basically the, the Lexus LS series is what forced all the other manufacturers to um, basically get their cars up to a proper standard, a minimum standard. And when the LS400 came out in 1989, it was a world apart from a Mercedes W126 or a BMW 7 Series. Had electric memory seats as standard airbags. Mercedes 126 were onto that as well obviously. 126 is the S-Class series. But they also had traction control. They had a much bigger braking system. You can see through the wheel there, you've got a nice big brake caliper there. 
They're rear wheel drive. Whoops. So there's a lot of plastic engine covers and things under here. The um, LS400 was also known for the fact that you could balance a coin on top of the engine while it was running and rev it and it wouldn't fall over. Whoops. I believe they've also got an aluminium bonnet which helps with heat distribution and obviously weight as well. But it's one of those cars, I can't stop looking at it. They're absolutely stunning. And I think that they're incredible value for money when you consider that for under $20,000, you're getting all this luxury, power, performance, economy, safety, and absolute reliability. I mean, what, what more could you possibly want out of a car? I think it represents incredible value for money. And the Lexus LS series, including the LS400 and the LS430, are just incredible cars. And in some ways, I actually prefer it even to the later Lexus LS460, the, the rounder shape. But that's just my opinion. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville in Sydney. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching.